Agora TV. The world is thinking. You've also studied the slave making ants, um, specifically uh, here in Cal the population here in California, up uh, the Sage Hen Reserve near Lake Tahoe. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yes, well, uh, Lake Tahoe is uh, one of the world bastions of slavery, <laughs> at least among ants. Uh, you know, it, uh, one way or another, you have to get a large labor force to get things done. And if you can get it for free, it pays off. Unfortunately, that's been true in human history, and it's worked in ants. Uh, sometimes the ants steal uh, individuals of a closely related species. Sometimes they steal individuals of their own species. In any case, what they do is they bring these individuals back, and uh, they're reared up by other slaves and do the work of the society. They're pupa. They steal the pupa. Right? They steal the pupa. And in this case, it's a matter of trickery because ants, like birds, imprint on their fellows or fellow gals, uh, since they're all females, uh, when they emerge as adult individuals. And uh, if, the wrong, if they come out in the wrong society, if they emerge in the wrong society, they just start working, assuming they're in the right place. But the slave makers here in Lake Tahoe are so, uh, they need their slaves so much that they will actually starve to death unless a slave hands them food. They will not recognize food put in front of them unless a slave gives it they to them. They don't do an ounce of work at no. all. Except steal more slaves when they get hungry enough to realize that they need a supply of workers. And what have you hypothesized about how that particular type of extreme behavior has evolved in that particular species? Well, there are a number, there are a couple different hypotheses. Uh, basically, Darwin started with one. He, he uh, basically st thought that uh, predatory ants could be stealing uh, larvae from other colonies, and it could be a matter of territoriality. Uh, there are, uh, in any case, you can imagine if uh, an individual is stolen, and uh, cannibalism is very common in ants, and uh, it w but you only get a payoff of eating one little snippet of food, but what if you accidentally let it grow up, and suddenly you get like weeks and weeks of free labor? Uh, there's this payoff could easily, one way or another, have led to uh, the adoption of this uh, slavery behavior. Mm -hmm. 